What's the danger if Israel responds to public opinion, international pressure, and stops this, leaving Hamas in power in Gaza? Well, I think it's going to be impossible to completely eradicate Hamas. I mean, you know, there was a Washington Post article the other day that said 5,000 Hamas militants out of 30,000 have been killed. My sense is that the group was preparing for this and likely sent out some uh, operational commanders out of the country, perhaps beforehand, maybe to Lebanon, maybe to Iran uh, or elsewhere. So they're preparing for the aftermath, the post-conflict setting. I don't know that the Israelis are. I don't see a military strategy or approach that's tied to concrete political objectives. And again, another factor in a lot of what brought us to this point uh, is the fact that Netanyahu was trying to balance Hamas off, off of Fatah and the West Bank and to deny both the opportunity for you know anything kind of tangible. Uh, you know, Hamas was uh, in many ways kind of, uh, you know, artificially inflated, right? In some ways, Netanyahu was playing footsie with them and kind of keeping this going, thinking that they were content to, uh, you know, deal with the economic benefits and gains and kind of totally misread what this group is about. Um, it, it's hard thinking through what a political settlement looks like. But I would say if you take a step back and look historically, um, we have to be prepared for some fairly unpalatable figures, including potentially some within Hamas, to be part of a future Palestinian state.